Hey, Jack, come on, mate. Let's push off home, shall we? Yeah, watch it. Dracula's on the warpath. He's bearing his fangs. <laughs> yeah. I can see him. Sharpen his pencil on his teeth. Hey, come here, you two. I want to work with you. Here. Yeah, he looks thirsty. If he asks for your blood group, don't answer. <laughs> what do you want? Look at the style of you, look. Oh. oh, you are a scruffy, dirty pair of toe rags, honestly. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the uniform. Look at you, look. What have you been doing, sleeping in it? Only when he's driving. <laughs> What's all this rubbish here? What's that? Look. It's all rags that? from my windscreen. The company supplied proper cleaning cloths for that. That can go in the bin right away. No, no, not that, not that one. That's my handkerchief. It's <laughs> absolutely revolting. The company will not have such revolting, disgusting objects put in its uniforms. I don't see that. They've got you in one. <laughs> Uniforms, mate. Look at them. They dropped the pieces. I'll show you something. Look at that. Look. Yeah, look at that there. Yeah. That's his court in pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, what he means is this, you see. When I take a bird out, you see, she sees me out of my pocket like this. She thinks she's safe. Then suddenly she finds out she's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Those uniforms are only meant for working in. Yeah, sort of birds he takes out. He has to work very hard. <laughs> you braved. I bet you tore that deliberately, didn't you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course I did. What's this here? Oh, it's just a magazine. Come on, let's have a look. That's my magazine. Let's have a look. No, don't, don't open it. Company's uniform. That's <laughs> absolutely disgusting. Pictures of nude females. The only book you're allowed to have in that pocket is a road map. Yeah, well, I use that for finding my way around and all. <laughs> <laughs> no laughing back there, you know. Well, look at it. Look at it all bulging out. Look. Blimey, well, mate, if you think that's bulging out, have a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you are too lecherous, lad. Perhaps fancy wasting your rub money on that rubbish. I don't buy that sort of thing. No, I happen to find that on the bus. Yeah, and listen, apart from all that, what's all this nonsense about our uniforms? Well, the company, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that all the busmen will be issued with a new type of uniform. And I, in my infinite wisdom, have decided that you two are going to act as guinea pigs. Hey, uh, I resent that implication. So do I. And <laughs> listen, what, why pick one us two? Because you're the dirtiest, scruffiest, untidiest <laughs> basket in the old depot, that's why. Right. If a uniform lasts two weeks on you, it lasts two years on a normal basket. <laughs> As it got to be specially made, you've got to fill them in with your measurements. And I want them back first thing tomorrow morning. And I'll take that right to the lost property office right away. Who's he trying to kid? He knows they don't open for another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you won't be taking her back for another two years. <laughs> puppy, you. You, you puppy. Inspector, could you sign my way, Bill? Oh, certainly, my dear. Yes, I'll pick it up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> You. Yes, well, it's a perfectly logical explanation for me having that, you see. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is, Miss, you see. You see, we're going to have new uniforms, and you see that bird there with the two beads and the fig leaf? That's going to be yours. <laughs> Stan, hurry up, love. You'll be late again. All right, stop nagging, Mum, will you? Oh, well, I don't know what you do in the morning. Really, I don't. I call you early enough, but you're always late. Well, I overdone it, didn't I? Yes, so... you did. Come on. Oh, dear. What? This form here, I forgot to put my measurements on it. Oh, dear. Measurements? What are you having measured? Well, me and Jack, we're having new uniforms. Oh. Here, you got a tape measure, Mum? No, Olive has. Go and get it, love. Come on and have your cereal, dear. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I really don't know. Right. Oh, it does seem a shame, them throwing away them uniforms after only one year. I don't throw them away, Mum. Oh. Well, if they did, they'd come crawling back. <laughs> oh, no, that's not very nice. <laughs> I can't find my tape measure upstairs anywhere. You were using it in bed last night. <laughs> <laughs> you knitting in bed, love? I always knit myself to sleep, don't I, Arthur? Always. 
<laughs> yeah, don't it keep Arthur awake, love? No, he was doing his pulls. Ah, uh, sexy beast. <laughs> oh, here's the tape measure, Stan. It was oh. in my pocket. Right. Got it, right now, then. Come on, let's get these measurements right, come down. Come on, measure me up. I'm in the middle right, of my back. Yeah. Ready? Come on, here, give us a pencil, love. Left oh, arm. I'm trying to have me breakfast, well, give you know. us a pencil. Right, Left right. arm, 28 inches. Left arm, 28 inches. <laughs> right arm, 32 inches. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't have one arm longer than the other. <laughs> Me. Well, that's my finger, look. Well, how can I have one arm longer than the other, then? Well, perhaps it's driving the bus, you know, one hand on the lever, love. Oh, child, don't be daft, Mum. Oh, now I remember, you did have one ear stick out more than the other when you was little. Yeah, but not four inches. <laughs> look, make that 28 well, inches. 28 inches. Right. Well, I'll What's... still make it the same. What are you talking about? How can it be? Give us that... You can't trust her to do anything, can no. you? She's measured it from the 60 inches downwards, no. you silly great... No, no, no. You well, know make she's... it 28 inches, anyway. Right, yeah. Well, you know she's not very good with figures. Come on, now, get on with right. it. Right, round, round my waist, go on. Round waist. Waist now. now, get it right this time, Olive. Waist, 32 inches. Oh, nice. Hips, 38 inches. 38. Oh, you're like me. You've got a 40-inch bust. <laughs> Talking about bust. I don't have a bust. Fellas don't have a bust. Fellas are built different than women. I don't think she's found out. Yet. Married to you, I haven't had much chance. Ooh. Most women of my age are grandmothers by now. Yeah. I am getting a little sick and tired with all the insults I get in this family. Oh no, no, Arthur. I treat you just like one of my own. Do you? Yeah. Well, how is it that my sausages are smaller than his? Oh, are they, love? Well, I thought I gave you equal shares. You did. You gave him more sausage, me more grease. <laughs> well, I've heard of some childish things, mate, but that beats the cake. I am not being childish. It was the same with the Brussels sprouts yesterday. Oh, we're not going to have that all over again, The fact we? still remains, mate, that you had 13 whilst I had nine. <laughs> Settle this for all. Uh, for all. And start, no. if, if, in case he starts counting the baked beans. Give right. us that tape measure. Right. Give us it here. Yes. Right. What are you going to do, love? Measure his sausage. <laughs> Yours, right? Right? Yeah. Yours? Yeah. Mine? Right. What's that say? Oh, you are. What? Your sausage is half an inch longer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's because yours is bent. <laughs> Same length, but mine happens to be thinner. Oh, no. <laughs> You're just being cussy, don't you? Yeah, it's only thinner because it's darker. It's like Olive, when she wears dark things, she looks thinner. You could have fooled me. <laughs> Look, come here. Get, take that tape measure, Olive. Tape measure. Now, measure that round. <laughs> Will you put my sausage down? <laughs> I don't care about your tape. What about my breakfast? <laughs> Well, it wasn't very nice, Stan. I tell you what, love, I've got a couple of fish fingers. I'll warm them up for you. No, no, no. You better measure them first. Otherwise, you swear blind you're giving him one finger and one thumb. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hello, Shorty. Right. Right. Go on, Jack. Let's get you. I ain't used to filled in those forms, have you? No. Oh, one minute. Got more in here, son. Yeah. Yeah, here. Here, Flakey, Just these straight. new uniforms, are they going to be any different? Uh, well, as you're the first two to wear them, you might as well come and have a look and see what the management's chosen for you. I've got a sketch in here. Right. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to look like. <laughs> Marianne Faithful. <laughs> now, listen here, you two. The management spent a lot of money on these designs. Now, if you want to keep your job here, you want to get used to the idea of wearing yeah, these. Yes, Blackie, what colour are they going to be, then? Silver grey. Ah, that's it. I can't wear that. Why not? 
It don't match the colour of my eyes. Hey, Chalky. Yeah. Harper and Butler got them new uniforms on yet, have they? I haven't seen them yet. I think no. they're still in the back room. What? They've been in here for nearly an hour now. Isn't it marvellous, eh? It don't matter what they do, they're always late out. <laughs> oh, well. I can't wait now. Tell them to report to me as soon as they've had their lunch, will you? Right. Hey, Stan! Go on, then. We all want to see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jackie, show yourself, darling. Right. <laughs> right, see you, mate. Right, come on, Sam. We're doing it up here. We're doing the show. We're doing the show. Park, please, park, please. The last of Blast Company has great pleasure in presenting the two piece driving ensemble. <laughs> Novel for you here by Stanley. <laughs> show them the walk, dear. I must seem straight. Yeah, the lovely. <laughs> now, I'm sure this outfit will prove very popular. <laughs> And I'm sure we'll all be wearing them at the end of the season. Now, I want you to notice the matching cap, which has two positions, forwards for driving and backwards for reversing. <laughs> You'll also notice the matching buttons on the cuff, which are put there for a special touch of elegance. Also, to stop you from wiping your nose on your sleeve. <laughs> Now, the special double vented pockets are amply designed to give Stanley plenty of room for his essentials. <laughs> <laughs> Show them your essentials. Stanley. Well, you'll notice, fellas, this pocket here is for my uh, tyre pressure gauge, this pocket here is for my windscreen wiper, and this one for my dipstick wiper. <laughs> in mood fancy free and with careless abandon slips out of his jacket we could see the transparent empire made nylon see-through shirt through which we can get a glimpse of the outline of stanley's string vest <laughs> and just a teeny weeny insy peep at the elastic top of his wife fronts <laughs> What about the conductors? Yes, All right, darling, don't rush us. Come on, Jackie, darling, get up and show yourself, dear. Yeah, darling, we'll right, right, right. <laughs> I'm the soul's ball, careful, darling. <laughs> now you can see my travelling companion, Jackie, has uh, this jacket here set off to match his. Uh, uh, do you mind? You spilled it all over him. Oh, he's, yeah. uh, he's, he's matching pouch yes, here, yes. which has the latest wet look. Has <laughs> it? You just spilt your teal down yeah. at your clock. <laughs> This That's is ridiculous, stupid. isn't it? No, I'm going to take this up with the union. We'll have it out with the management. Come on, all right. Oh, all right. Before we like to cut the sissies. Well, what do you expect, mate? Putting this in uniforms like this, it couldn't change our personalities. <laughs> Look, if you've got any complaints, you go to the management about it. But I'm not having them uniforms spoiled the first day. Dan, here's your lunches. All right, when darling. Thanks very much, love. Yeah. There you are, mate. There you are. Bangers and match for you. Thank you. Get stuck in, mate. That's the idea. You're not going to eat in them clothes, are you? Of course we're going to eat in. What do you think we're going to do, mate? Well, be careful, then. Right. Oh, no, look at that. Look, I'll oh, trust you. What? Trust you to choose that sloppy spaghetti bolognese and all that sloppy gravy. <laughs> well, be... Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, you're dripping all drops now. Look. Look. <laughs> goes down on that silver grey uniform, it'll make an arsey stain on it. I'll go and see if they've got some silver grey sauce, shall I? <laughs> Look here, I'm responsible for them uniforms until they've been approved. Ah, shut here. your face. <laughs> Tuck this under your <laughs> I'm only trying to help you. 
on that stupid thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Now, now, Stanley mustn't it, Dada, or Dada will smack his body. I'll smash his face in. Listen, mate, I will eat my food how I like it, whether you like it. Look at you done to all this stuff. I nearly lassoed myself. Get out of it. Get out of it. Butler, I insist you take that jacket off before eating it. Look, mate, I'll take my trousers off and all. How about that, then? Open the sublime to the ridiculous. Well, come on, Jack. We'll eat in the cab across the road. Do you mind if we leave? Or do you want to bring up Windows? <laughs> Jack Lars. Det er ellers et par flotte fyre. Jeg tror, jeg ved, hvordan jeg kan klare den. Well, let's face it, Jack. We're looking at right couple of twits tarted up in this lot. Oh, don't worry, mate. I'm going to take it up with the union. I mean, blimey, we're supposed to look like busmen, not Peruvian postmen. <laughs> don't look now, mate, but I think uh, those couple of birds are clocking us over there. Blimey, I mean, mate, a fat chance we stand in this stupid clobber. No, I'm not kidding. They're coming over now. Watch. Hey, uh, if you're having some trouble with the money, how much is worth this coin in your English money? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I don't understand it. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you would know because you're airline pilots. Airline pilots? <laughs> yeah. I thought because of your uniform. Airline pilots? Oh! Airline pilots? No, darling, no, you got it wrong. We're not airline pilots. Uh, no, 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 no. You're quite right, darling. See, what he meant was we're not both pilots, is it? Oh. He's a pilot and I'm like his uh, navigator. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, what money is that, then? Swedish. Do you know it? Uh, do you fly to Sweden? Uh, no, we're on the uh, New York run. Are we? Oh, Newark. Oh, I must tell Birgit. Yeah, well, why don't you ask her to join us, then? Yeah. Yeah. OK, yeah. OK. <laughs> You you flop <laughs> the morning about flying. Look, mate, you went on that holiday chart at the Majorca. You saw what went on? I didn't. I was slush going out and sick coming back. <laughs> Listen, mate, just leave it to me, will you? Right. <laughs> uh, that is Birgit. Uh, and yeah. uh, and uh, I am Ingrid. <laughs> oh, well, uh, this is Stan Butler, uh, Captain <laughs> Butler, uh, and I'm Jack Harper. <laughs> He's a captain and all. Yeah. Well, uh, won't you sit down? Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Not you, you both, them. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I think it must be very nice to fly a plane. Is it very difficult? No, not really. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's just like driving a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorant loves. No, hang on, no. No, 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 no. Stanley, 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 what? she's quite right. How could a pretty bird like that be wrong? I think your work must be very dangerous. Yeah, it is with him at the controls. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, tell me, what are you two birds doing over here, then? We are here to learn your English language. Yeah, well, come out with us, you'll learn a lot more than you will at college. <laughs> <laughs> you mean those idiomatic phrases? Yeah, yeah, all those. Yeah, yeah, all those. What? Oh, yeah, well, we've got to leave you now, because uh, we've got to get back in the garage. Um, yeah. the, um, the airport. Yeah, well, what about you two birds coming out with us tonight, then? I mean, we're free, we're not flying again till tomorrow. Oh, well, uh, I, I do not know. We have been told to be very careful with you airline pilots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not like other pilots. <laughs> Now, uh, we're much more down to earth, like. <laughs> You'll be all right when I send you it. All right, we'll meet you at half past seven tonight, then, OK? Well, uh, yes. Yes. OK, OK. Oh, and perhaps tomorrow we can come and see you at Take It Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a bit of luck, we might see him take it off first. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning this morning, isn't it, eh? Here I say, uh, these uniforms, they work a treat with the birds, oh, don't they, no, eh? Oh, mate, yeah. Here, uh, what time did you get home last night? 
I didn't get home last night. I came straight here. <laughs> all right. These Swedish birds are exhausted, aren't they? They're off, boy. Must be all that, all that midnight sun they have. Yeah. yeah. How'd you get on, then? I got a smashing goodnight kiss. Oh, you little <laughs> devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, mate. Yeah. I'll be all right tonight. Yeah. How about you? I was all right last night. Stop <laughs> <laughs> on, you two. Stop rolling about and get them new uniforms off right away. Hey? What? Yes, you two put the poison in so well, none of the other busmen would wear them. Oh, no, no, we like them now. We yeah. think they're lovely, don't we, Jack? Right. Uh, well, you're too late, mate. The management's decided to drop the whole affair. Come on, get them off. Can I wear mine just for tonight? No, you can't. <laughs> I'll tell you what you can do. What? Kiss it goodbye. <laughs> that me. won't be the only thing I'll be kissing goodbye. Look, mate, if we turn up in our civvies, they won't know the difference, will they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Chalky. Yeah. Go and tell them two layabouts, Butler and Art, but they're late out, will you? They're in the canteen. Right. You are the inspector, yes? Oh, yes, miss. Uh, can I do anything for you at all? We wish to go to the museum. What bus is for there? Ah, the museum, yes. Uh, number nine, due out in three minutes. Uh, get off at Acker Street, and you'll find it on the left, facing on the right. Right, OK, Blakey, we change, and I thought... See, well, then I give my wife a hearty day, Merkley, so I thought... Oh, say, they make a good. Come again? They are our friends. But, but why they dress like that? Your friends? These two? I, 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 I do not understand. They said they were airline pilots. Yeah, well, you see, it's a bit of a mix-up, like... Uh, yeah, well, you see, uh, you see, them being Swedish, Blake, you see... Yeah, yeah. And, uh, are you not Captain Butler? And are you not Captain Harbour? <laughs> Captain Butler. <laughs> Captain Harper. What have you been telling these two girls? They they do not fly a young boy yet plane to Newark. <laughs> a young boy yet. <laughs> they can't even drive a number eleven bus to the segregation base. <laughs> Right. I think we are going with them. Hell, the vizier, you had an eating mare, Tom. Come, Lars, for Svenner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're all cleared for takeoff then, Captain. Would <laughs> uh, you like to climb into your cockpit and taxi down the high street and uh, set course for the cemetery gates? <laughs> Captain of a Yumbo. <laughs> Oh, this has made my day, this day. <laughs> 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 well, we made a right mess of that, mate, didn't we? No, never mind. We had our fun. You mean you had your fun? <laughs> well, now I know how Cinderella felt when the clock struck 12. <laughs> Come on, mate, let's get this yumbo yet out. <laughs> 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 